G'day there. Um, welcome to An Actor Talks. I think this is like number 15. Uh, th and this is the last one, I think, before Christmas. So look, to everybody who's been watching these uh, video blogs and the interview series, Actors Talk About Themselves, thank you so much um, for your support, um, for your comments. And also, um, you know, to the viewers out there who have selected that little um, support this channel button where you can actually, you know, support the channel and make a contribution to the channel because obviously, you know, I don't get paid for this. So, uh, you know, that, that all helps and I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget, of course, actors talk about themselves. Dino Gorman's just going nuts. Um, Gray McTavish, there's the best bits. Jed Brophy, we've got a whole stack of them there on the channel. So catch those. Um, and yeah, all the all the, the video blogs, I've, I've really had a great time uh, doing them this year. Um, I've got some questions. Um, and we, what I urge you to do is, is keep writing the questions in the comments. You can email me at info. That's infostephen huntercom That's S T P S T E P H E N. Can't spell my name right. S T E P H E N dash Hunter H U N T E R dot com. If you want to email me questions, because what happens, and I'm going to read a couple of uh, letters here. Um, if I answer a question for somebody, usually it relates to a whole lot of other people as well, and you know, and that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, answer your questions, be a forum for all types of things, whether it's uh, acting, creative arts, or life in general. Really, um, any way I can, I can help out, um, and it's a great way of communicating with you guys. So yeah, please, please keep um, forwarding your questions because it helps a lot of people. Um, getting straight to this one, um, uh, this is from Lily Melos. Um, you might remember a couple of um, a couple of weeks ago, I was starting to lose my voice. So she asks, speaking of losing your voice, can you talk about um, coming up with voices for different characters? Uh, do you think it's okay to suffer for your art, as in doing a voice that's difficult and might cause you harm to your voice, or are there actors' tricks to keep you from causing too much harm? Well, first of all, yeah, you should never put yourself in physical harm for anything, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, especially when it comes to voice. Um, a lot of it's to do with warm-ups, and there's like lots of um, you know videos and blogs and things to read out there with people who are more expert than I am when it comes to looking after your voice. But you know, generally speaking, you know, you just don't go too hard, too fast. You know, you need to warm your voice up, and there's a whole lot of you know voice exercises that you can do to find those types of voices. And you know, in my mind, and if you talk to any great dialect coach, they'll tell you, you know, you find the accent first, you find the voice, and uh, you know, there's a lot of accent that like to find a voice as a way to get into a character so you know whether it be sort of oh you know someone who's who's talking a little bit older you know perhaps or uh, you know it's a way or you know you get someone who's very quietly spoken and and, and they could be very um very unsure of themselves uh, that could be a way or someone who's really just loud and brash and just all over the place you know i mean that's a very basic example but you know quite often you can find a different character because you know the voice says so much about a person and I guarantee there's people out there who are very quietly spoken. You might be one of them and you think, oh, I really don't really have a loud voice. I really don't. You know, I'm very quietly spoken. You know, that's not something you're born with. You know, that's not something that's inherently part of you. I guarantee it. Um, so exploring your voice and exploring what you can say and, you know, expressing yourself is a, is a really great growth thing, you know, for you as a person, also as an actor. Because I guarantee something happened way back when where you decided that you weren't going to be listened to or you weren't your opinion wasn't worthy or whatever you know I don't want to psychoanalyze you but you know that could have happened and so you find quite often people who are very self-conscious have quiet voices because they don't really back themselves you know someone who's who's really confident they'll talk fast they'll you know they'll they'll be very assertive um, and on the other side of the scale, in my experience, maybe some people who are also very, you know, very unsure of themselves will go over that and be really overly expressive. You know, do you know people who are really like overly flamboyant and they keep saying, oh, I'm so crazy. I'm so, I'm so over the top. And that could be a way of covering up their insecurities. So, you know, you can see a lot about a character in their voice. So, you know, totally the voice is a great place to start, but please don't don't wreck your voice you know there are ways of going about it and the more warm-ups you do the more you can feel your voice warm up into the different zones you know and uh, quite often accents have a lot to do with it you know like a new york accent you know sometimes they'll drop in a little bit like that you know uh that's a way of getting into it or you know like in irish sometimes you know they'll 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 talk quite high you know that's 
kind of the accent that they get into, you know? Apologies to anyone from New York or uh, um, Dublin for those two accents, by the way. So anyway, a little bit about on the voice. <clears throat> another great leader. This is another one from Kate McKenna. I read one of yours uh, a couple of weeks ago. Thanks for another one. A um, couple more questions. Uh, what made you interested in doing the vlogs originally? What pushed you to start? Do you have any tips on those looking to get started? Uh, she talks about a background. Um, she'd been looking at a blog about uh, different diets, and they had a diet of hobbits. Uh, she'd been looking at cutting out processed food, which is awesome, um, and, you know, walking, hiking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I wanted to create a multimedia blog to go with it so that others can join me on the journey. What a great idea. Um, uh, they might be interested in the resulting mental, emotional, and physical benefits, but I'm having trouble getting started. Where have you heard that before? Also want to belatedly thank you for sticking with the vlogs. Thank you very much. They've inspired me in a few areas of my life. The advice you give is relevant across the board and very much needed. I hope your current endeavors are opening doors and bringing you very much deserved success. Well, this is it. Kate, thank you for, for saying that because all I'm doing is sharing my experiences. I'm just sharing what I know. I'm, I'm not the big expert on a lot of these things. I just share my experiences. And that's why I encourage you to comment because I think sharing your own experiences can, can always help other people. So Look, first of all, um, it's a great idea to do a blog. And, you know, all I did with this, you know, I, I mean, I've got followers on Twitter and Facebook, which which helps. But, you know, you record something and you, you just go on YouTube and you upload it. That's pretty much it, you know. Um, you sign up for a YouTube channel. I'm sure you've got one. Um, you just, there's so many um, tutorials. There's so many things in YouTube that you can just click and click and you can go on for weeks just reading how to do things. All the information's there. If not, Google it, you know, it's it's all there. So I encourage you to do it and just, you know, um, you, you say what pushed me to do the vlogs. It was, it was a very good friend of mine, Andy, who's been coaching me last year. And, you know, he just said, you, I just want you to do something every week and commit to something every week. Because quite often, and, you know, this is relating, I guess, to, to you know, we have to-do lists and I want to do this and I want to do that. The first thing we do if we write a whole lot of stuff we want to do is that we don't do it and we immediately, like, you know, <laughs> we experience failure. So it's like, the experience of saying you're going to do something and actually completing it is so amazing. You know, just little chunks. Say I'm going to do one once every fortnight or, you know, once a month and just complete it and just see see what happens. And, you know, just just continue on and, and keep going. And, you know, I get, after a wee while it becomes habit. I think after like nine weeks or whatever or nine days of doing something, it becomes habit. This has become habit for me now. I do my video blogs every week and it's just habit. It's just something that I do every week um, and I really enjoy doing. You know, the next step for me is planning it and planning out a schedule and, you know, getting really specific with acting tips and sketches and there's a whole lot of stuff I really want to do. But, you know, Kate, first of all, thank you very much, you know, for your, um, you know, for your wonderful note and saying that, you know, what I've had to say and not just me, what other people who have been viewing this have had to say has inspired you. Um, and, you know, that's it. Just if you've got an idea, just run with it and just do it and just see what happens. Um, you know, and if it doesn't work out, then just try something different. That's really it. Um, but thank you. Uh, look, that's it for this week. Um, if I don't see you before then, we might have another actors talk about themselves next week. I'm just teeing it up. Otherwise, we'll do another another blog like this. Um, if we don't talk to you, have a, an amazing Christmas to everybody out there. And I hope 2017 is awesome. Thanks for sticking around. And I promise you there's going to be some great new stuff coming up next year. Awesome. See you later. Yeah, nah, sweet.